Hello everybody, today I have the pleasure to propose to you this new key 34 and uh, key 14 regarding the series of practice entitled Unconditional Love. All right, we talked about this already, the topic which is very wide and very large in the key number four, but it was more, let's say, theory. Now it will be more, let's say, practice. So in four steps, the first one, kind of definition. Secondly, the reason for being, let's say, the, the field of application, so different techniques, and then we will finish with some tips and advice. So first of all, the definition, quota mark, let's say, what is concretely unconditional love. I would just like to precise love one thing. So, of course, unconditional love means that you love with no condition. It doesn't make sense. But actually, it is is the fact to not to wait for a return on your love. Okay, so you just emit love and you're satisfied of this emission. That's the basic point. And actually, this is uh, loving also, regardless who is what, who is doing what, and also without any comparison. Okay, no comparison and no judgments of the behavior of the person. So you can see the example if you have different children is normally <laughs> unconditional love. Okay, you love your daughter as you love your son or different ones if you have more than two, uh, you don't compare normally. Uh, you appreciate uh, your kids even if um, they are teenager, a little bit trouble, even if sometimes they have different, um, I mean, some difficulties, some different difficult moments and so on, addiction, whatever, okay? Uh, but, uh, but character, for a while and so on. You love them like this. It doesn't mean that you cannot be strict for the education, to punish them sometimes and so on, but at least you love them as they are. So concretely, unconditional love is, the scope is quite large because concretely is the fact to like, to appreciate people as they are and not as you would like they are, okay? So this is the point. Second point is when we say love is loving but it is not necessary it's more to accept to tolerate instead of appreciate why because unconditional love doesn't mean that you want to be friends with the all the entire planet okay you also have your own let's say acquaintance that's to say uh, the fact to, to match and basically okay you can appreciate someone for what the person is what she brings to humanity and so on but uh, for any reason maybe you, you would not like to be friends with this person okay this is unconditional love okay so i precise this is not uh, necessarily appreciate is just to recognize a certain talent or a certain way of being and so on behaving and so on and so far and also you can accept the defaults okay as they are okay so basically the scope is large because we will see we will define that this is first unconditional love love yourself then it is your relatives that's to say your partner husband wife and so on uh, your parents your your, your kids uh, your friends your colleagues and so on so con considering your environment then this is so the Let's say the the stars, the people, the let's say the intellectual, the, the mentors, the the politics and so on. Okay, so those who don't have any contact with them. Okay, so this is this unconditional love, and it's even larger. It is also uh, nature. This is um, a culture. It can be also food, sex, and so on, entertainment, sport, and so on. This is actually loving life, loving the living, the living implying the notion of God, which is supposed to be within and through everything, okay? So this is in the absolute loving God through the different faces he can embody, okay? So that's the point. Well, what's the reason for being or what's the scope and the purpose of this unconditional love? 
very simple. First is when you rise your vibration, okay? So it's a low double face. It's a void to, to, to be, let's say, um, uh, to, to, to be trapped by the darkness and especially with matter, you know, with dark energy, with the, the downer astral, okay? So concretely is to be separated from the low vibration and thereby to rise your vibration and thereby to be to be closer to the light okay light and by the way when you don't have borders of negativity you are light in terms of uh, white less less white uh, less necessary okay so this is this okay so two effects it's avoid to be uh, in the darkness okay low vibration and thereby it allows you to rise your vibration to lift your vibration in order to to be in the process of awakening, ascent, and so on. Two things. Then the third one is basically to access to happiness, fulfillness. Okay, fulfill your feel uh, full uh, to be in peace with humanity, life in general, and so on. Okay, so you free up your negativity, and thereby you access to happiness, unity, whatever the, the terminology. And it brings you oxytocin. Oxytocin, concretely, is one of the four hormones of happiness. It's belonging effect, okay? It's very powerful. Fourth is to be healthy. To be healthy in the sense that you have a good circulation of your energy, you vibrate properly, okay? And last, it is because it's contagious, okay? The more you love, the more you give your love to people, you lie to people, and the more people are. Okay, this is the butterfly effect or ripple effect. But you know something very important, and maybe I can shock some of you. Um, it is written in a holy scripture, okay? We believe, we don't believe in this or in these characters, who is one of the top three of the most, uh, let's say, appreciated uh, character in humanity. Buddha maybe is part of uh, the, the top three, but Jesus Christ, okay? Concretely, uh, you say, don't reveal your purse in front of the box. Okay, it's very violent, right? What does it mean? Okay, give unconditionally, okay? But try to give also to those who are able to receive your love and your light. Okay, this is important. Love and light are synonym in a certain extent, okay? Um, but actually, it's important. Why? Because um, otherwise, it's kind of a stage, a waste, okay? And also because you risk, if you give like this to some people, it's like preparing a meal. Imagine you prepare a meal, and so some people, they say, oh, it's disgusting, and so on. You spend one day with love, and so on. You prepare your food, it's amazing. You know, like the grandma, grandma, she preparing, and so on. And then some people, that she doesn't know, okay, uh, uh, say, oh, it's disgusting, and so on. Okay, thank you. Uh, you know, it's the point. She raised to say, oh, okay, people are not really grateful, and so on. So this person risked to stop to do that. So I invite you, not necessarily to give to people that you know, but unconditional love, it can be to unknown people, but with those who are able to receive, okay, your light, your love, and to, to receive means to, um, to, 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 to synchronize, okay, to be in symbiosis. This is really important for me. So, as I mentioned, uh, there is different layers, okay, so yourself, then your relative, your environment, and then also, let's say, the people, uh, let's say the mentors, you don't have necessarily interaction with them. But one of the first techniques that I propose to you is to do a diagnosis of your environment. Take the top 10 of the people, so your, 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 your children, your parents, your partner, your friends, you take 10 people, those who are the most important for you. And you visualize their defaults and their competencies, okay, plus negative, okay? And you will see, you will visualize, like give, at the end, uh, total mark, total rate, you visualize, okay, each profile, 
okay you will see none of them none of them i'm pretty sure except if you are living with an angel or i don't know but it's quite rare you will visualize that none of them reach 100 percent okay but you will visualize also some of their defaults and some of them okay he has a bad character she has a bad character but she's so charming through that you know and you because of unconditional love you appreciate them as they are okay why is so important because you can just think about if you expect if you aspire to perfection you will have no partner no children no friends nobody and you will be alone okay so because perfection is not from this word it's not is divine and okay it can be an explanation on which we try to flirt we try to we aspire to to be uh, let's say uh, uh, close i mean as close as we can but it's something it's endless okay so the first diagnosis secondly second technique is to do exactly the same with yourself okay so try to do to to put your advantages and your defaults in a, in a certain sense okay so the advantages you can maybe improve them and your default you can also solve some of them okay but with that you will see also that you are far from being the perfection uh, embodying the perfection but then one thing extremely important third um third techniques is the fact to love yourself okay the first person you have I'm, i don't know if it's you have or you must or i invite you to appreciate you is it's really important why is not very important precision <laughs> this is not when i say love yourself it's not hashtag i love myself all oh, what i do is amazing is incredible oh, look at my uh, and i take um, you know it's not a selfish selfie uh, dimension uh, it's not that it's not taking picture of yourself and every time uh, you do uh, you fart you put on the internet and so on uh, provocating uh, it's not that it's just concretely you appreciate the loan you receive that to say your body your character your let's say uh, the fruit of the education you had from your parents your nation and so on uh, regarding what we saw and defined with the notion of personality okay and you appreciate that as a gift okay you receive it is a loan okay you take care of it and this is like uh, honoring okay life the living okay so you're not obliged to appreciate that okay but um, if you want to feel in harmony in peace and so on it's better so you can do things to do this diagnosis to work in it you can train and to do some different uh, training uh, uh, whatever therapy and so on to, to clean up the negative part you consider as being negative and for uh, let's say to, to to discharge this negative part of yourself that's the goal is really to to appreciate yourself to know your weaknesses which is not so uh, bad uh, in terms of competencies in terms of sometimes uh, oh, you're not really tolerant or you when you feel tired and so on maybe you have your moments and so on it's not that bad actually okay but at least you can appreciate and appreciate you have many things to to for for the reason is also the fact that a lot of people they they are in couple or they have some friends just to compensate what they don't have okay they are shy they want someone very charismatic and so on but the problem of that is it creates a kind of dependence which is not really healthy okay so meaning thereby they they have chance to be dependent on that and what does it mean it means that when they realize that they become jealous they're afraid that the person uh, leave them uh, they can die and so on so is not really balanced okay so the first person to be in harmony in a couple in a friendship and so on is this is to be to appreciate yourself and it's a good balance uh, in between uh, oh, i hate myself i'm ugly and so on okay first um, extreme and second extreme oh, i'm a genius i'm brilliant all what i do is ex no it's not this is in between both and in parallel of that those who are always showing off is most of the time something uh, an ego problem problem with the ego they they try to fulfill something an emptiness okay so it's another story it's another problem but 
this is important to be just in the, the application of the middle way, the middle path, okay? So, I invite you to do this test, is to hug yourself, okay? Regularly, once a day, you hug yourself, but we are giving you a maximum of love, okay? Just the love you could give to someone and the love that you give and you receive from someone, but it's for yourself, okay? Because it's important. You will create a positive vibration. Then another technique of so is in the sense of lo uh, appreciate yourself is to, um, to, 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 to look at uh, yourself in the mirror and just to say, I love you. Okay, like this. Okay, no need to kiss the, the mirror, of course, but, uh, but just uh, I love you. It's sending a message to you and also the vibration. Uh, regarding what we say in the past, in the Zoki, you know, it's the Masuro Emoto experience with the, um, we can do with the rice, but also with water, okay? Concretely, uh, we crystallize um, a water with uh, a certain ad attention, okay? So I hate you and so on negatively, and it will be disharmonious with a microscope. We could see some disharmonious uh, vibration of the water. On the other hand, if we give positive attention, like I love you, I appreciate, and so on, it will be completely harmonious. What does it mean? We have made of 70%, 80% of water. So literally, when we always say, oh, I'm ugly, oh, oh, and so on, you don't, I don't like myself, and so on, and so on. Okay, but you vibrate that. So when you meet someone, uh, you don't know why, people don't really like you, don't appreciate you. If on the other way around you're always vibrated positively, doesn't mean that you necessarily are uh, matching with the uh, physical criteria of beauty, it's not that. But just, and it can be also, oh, I don't know, she, she's not or he's not so handsome, uh, pretty and so on, but I feel good with her or with him and so on. Um, she has something, she, 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 she radiates and so on. This is this, the energy. So you have more chance to meet people partner and in general friends a good job and so on because you are just radiating okay so this is positive for this reason and it's not i insist so much it's not the fact empowering and so on i have a lot of uh, energy and look at i am I'm, uh, I'm i'm super strong and i do so many things i'm mean, successful and i have full of money and look at you you're a piece of shit it's not this at all to appreciate yourself appreciate yourself and you will see those who are really I mean, they like themselves, and in the, the way I try to, to tell you, they don't need to show off, because they, they, they gain, in a certain extent, they battle with the ego just by surrounding, okay? So, is, is this. But, you know, I'm gonna maybe show some of you. I'm always saying I appreciate my company. What does it mean? It means that I appreciate myself. And it's not because I, I, I try to improve and so on, but when I'm alone, I appreciate my company. It means that uh, I feel good and so on. I love people, but I love also to be alone sometime within a day, a um, few days and so on, okay? And uh, I'm completely fulfilled with people, of course, with my family and so on. So it's not shocking, it's just an invitation to think about that. Fourth technique, I invite, you, I invite you to set up a list of 10 people who influence you positively among your environment, your relatives, okay? You define their, uh, the positive things they brought to you and you love them by return for what they brought to you, okay? And you will see that this person, maybe they have some, uh, some default, some... Uh, they did something wrong as well and so on this is a part of the game a full package you know recently we had the case with my company in shanghai um, we had a collaboration with uh, an employee for four years she really appreciate uh, me and my uh, my business partner and uh, she had big problems with uh, uh, the general manager okay so anyway and what's happened she did quite um, sabotage Okay, it was not beautiful, to be frank with you. And uh, even if she had nothing against us, me and my business partner, actually she did something not really acceptable. Anyway, and at the end, okay, we, we thanked her, for, we thanked 
uh, her for what she brought to the company and so on. And actually, uh, the general manager was a little bit shocked in the sense that we were not, uh, let's say, um, re uh, resentful. Okay. Why? Because actually we were visualizing what she brought in general. So maybe she did correctly for her. She was really nice and so on, professional for 90%, 95%. And it's just the last. Uh, so most of people, a lot of people, unfortunately, they just judge in the absolute some people just for uh, the end or and so on. Okay, so it's not my way. And actually, to be frank with you, if I would have been hateful for all those who tried to cheat me or they did um, in the business in the, in the in friendship and so on honestly I would not be there I would be full of anger I would be uh, completely uh, bitter all the time and so on and I will have low vibration so and this person they forget about you so if you keep this bad energy you just um, I mean you just uh, whip yourself okay so it's just a question of choice. All right, so I invite you to do the same with some people, uh, I don't know, mentors, uh, people, uh, intellectual and so on, who brought you positively something and send them some love, unconditional love. Thank you, thank you for what you brought me and so on. Then I invite you to do this exercise to, um, to give love to someone anonymously okay so it can be very very simple things like uh, helping grandma to to uh, to hold the I don't know the bags from shopping bags and so on it can be uh, uh, someone who is pushing his car because uh, it's um, it's broke up and so on and it's it's cold and it's outside or it's raining and you do it and then um, no thanks no nothing you just leave and uh, that's it. And you did your job. You did what you thought was your job, your mission. Um, can be another things like um, going to see to give attention to homeless, for instance. Okay, um, I did that um, seven years when I was in Paris, three times a, a week with some association at the beginning alone, and with a pretext we were bringing some, you know, a, a thermos or with coffee or tea and. Uh, Actually, we were just at the eye level and just listening to them because the main misery is not only financially speaking, it is essentially attention. They are, they are just out of the human system. And, uh, and it was most of the time very enriching, okay? And um, just give 10 minutes to people. Then you can say, okay, I need to go and so on. And just you will see how you feel or um, yeah, you feel literally very light after, like, uh, you know, like kind of angel and so on, because you know that it, it brought something to this person. This person will be, will be animated by something else, and you will receive by written, and also because this is oxytocin, the hormone of belonging, and you will have this feeling to be really living. And it's a kind of indirect reward you don't do for that, but at the end, it is what's brings you okay so I really invite you to do the test or it can be uh, I don't know you prepare a meal uh, for a homeless with you all your heart and you prepare by having the feeling when he will eat he will be oh, I love it and so on is good this is pure love this is unconditional love in practice Practi practice makes perfect right and you know for me this is practitioner uh, this is this it's not necessarily I go to the to the temple, to the church, to the mosque, to the synagogue every day, and then and I pray uh, regularly. No, no, no. Praying can be also operational. It's not the living, it's through everything, everybody, and so on. So giving your heart to people like this, this is for me the real unconditional love. I invite you to do the test. Another technique is to thank a maximum. This is really the notion of being grateful okay a maximum during the day thank you for this meal for those who prepare thank you for uh, mother earth Gaia whatever for giving to the soil uh, the rice the sun to to grow up and so on to blossom and so on 
life in general. Thank you for this shower. Thank you for this water. Thank you for this mattress. Thank you for this comfort. Thank you for thank you, thank you for the electricity. Thank you for this comfort. Thank you for the AC because it's hot. Thank you for this heater because it's cold outside. Thank you, life in general. And you will see this is unconditional love as well. It will rise your vibration as well. The more you say thank you, thank you, Wu, uh, thank you, God, thank you, <laughs> whatever, uh, thank you, life, uh, if you are not a believer, thank you, life, you will rise your vibration. This is really important process. Then visualize a person you don't like, you hate even, okay? So, and try to visualize why you don't like this person, okay? You, you put you right and also try to find some positive aspect of this person despite the fact you hate this person okay and the goal will be to try to discharge this hate okay because and practicing what we saw the previous um, the previous key of cleansing okay the key 33 uh, cleansing to visualize this person embracing it doesn't mean that you will love this person in the sense that you will appreciate he will become or she will become your best friend or partner is not that it's just you discharge the negativity otherwise you are dependent and you you let's say you uh, you affect your, your your rate of vibration uh, that's uh, you that's the negative part. Then I invite you also to do, let's say, to have compassion for murderers and also some extreme cases like uh, genocide and so on, to try to understand with empathy their, their history, their childhood and so on. You know, I'm gonna shock you, but uh, yeah, for instance, Hitler, of course, this is horrible what he did and so on, but when you see his story, uh, he, I'm, I'm not saying I'm justifying, of course not, but um, yeah, he was in hell. All his life was painful because he was, he was in, in a battle, in a conflict and so on. So yeah, literally, uh, poor him in a certain extent. I mean, once again, please understand properly what I'm, tr I'm trying to say. Uh, for all kind of dictator, you can see all of them, they, are, they were in a, in a battle. Okay, so this is more this, to, to see why they reach such a point of negativity, of darkness. It's more this, because, you know, in the, in the, in the Course in Miracle, this is well explained, there is two types of energy among the planets. Love, fear. Fear is a lack of love, is a, um, a fear to, 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 to lack or to, to, to lose it and so on. And most of people who, did, who do uh, murders, uh, genocide and so on, this is like a SOS, save our soul, literally. It means, help me, help me to, to improve myself. You know, there is a tribe in Africa, the way of um, helping someone who did something wrong is not to punish and so on and so far, to blame. They go, they go around him and they remind this person what he did in terms of positive action. And then the person remind what he was truly. And actually it's a, it's a beautiful for me, beautiful sign in the sense of, uh, um, yeah, rising your vibration in that term. Okay, I know it's really complex, but try to visualize extreme cases and try to understand. Doesn't mean that you will like, you will, let's say, say it's good what he did or what she did. Of course not. You keep your, um, your um, discernment in the sense that you know what you want, what you are not, okay? Um, what you are and what you are not. Of course, you, you, you fragment, you, you, you change. But at least you try to, to let's say, to, 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 to to have a certain um, distance and empathy. This is the point. Last, which can be a little bit weird, is to love an ex, okay? Huh? Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, of course, it doesn't mean with uh, sexuality, with attraction and so on, okay? An ex literally means that she left you, he left you, or you left him or her, okay? It's not the point, it's just to try to appreciate this person for the positive aspects that she or he brought you. 
okay, and can be also negative in the sense that, uh, I don't know, uh, 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 she was violent and so on, and then, uh, okay, it allows you to bounce back to something else. Maybe you reinforce yourself, maybe you, um, you, you find someone else and so on. So it's try to visualize and to appreciate life in general. It's even more that only your ex for the positive aspect and to be in peace with life in general, to be peace with the living, okay? Instead of waiting for rest, rest in peace, huh? as we say when you, we pass away, before rest, uh, resting in peace, let's try to live in peace. And for that, we need to discharge the negativity. Well, some advice. Um, actually, uh, don't try to, help, to, to love 100% of humanity in the past. Of course, it's almost impossible. Okay? Try not to focus on the exception, okay? on the extreme cases. Try to do to love as you can as your capacity, okay? If it's 60, 70 percent, 80 percent is already pretty good. What I advise you, especially, is to avoid to hate too much, okay? So, be indifferent, okay? To be indifferent of, uh, let's say, uh, of s s tiny things. If you watch TV, oh, I hate his fucking face all the time, you, you, you affect your vibration, okay? So, Let's say, just limit yourself to a certain quota, okay, per day, let's say just, okay, okay, I have three quota, and okay, and this one, no, okay, I use it, my joker, okay, I use it, okay, okay, why not? It's not binary, it's not I hate everybody or I love everybody, it can be in between, okay, because this is part of the, of the, of the, of the advice, uh, is to discharge your negative burden towards people. And also, it is to avoid to be in the frustration. Loving unconditionally doesn't mean that you love uh, necessarily everybody, the war, and so on. Of course not. Otherwise, if you do it like this, you have many chains that you get crazy after a while. Okay, so you're gonna somatize some disease and so on, and one moment you're gonna be completely crazy, and you want to, you're gonna want to, um, to, to, to kill everybody. Almost uh, exaggerate, but uh, you understand the point. It is to avoid the frustration, to be, to apply the middle way. That's the point, and this is extremely important to know yourself and to manage. So the advice is to love as you can as much as you can, according to your capacity, and thereby also to avoid to hate too much and to have a certain quota and to refrain and to try to see the positive things within every types of adventure of life. That's the point. Well, this is only one key for you to shape your master key to open up the door of the consciousness that you want. And thereby, as you know, all the roads lead to Rome and to Rome. Thank you for your attention and see you very soon. Thank <laughs> you.